Hi, I'm Jo McHale. It's a truism to say that conflict is inevitable and the NVC community is no exception. But what matters is how we deal with it. We know it can be scary, something to be avoided or pushed under the carpet, but we want to encourage people to see it differently, to bring it out into the open and to look at it as holding valuable information and something we can learn from. The three of us came together in 2016, sharing our concern that here in the UK, there's only a very loose and informal way of responding to conflicts that emerge between people sharing and engaging with NBC, and we were not happy with that. We wanted people to have the resources and the skills to work towards conflict in their local practice group, in the family camp, in workshops, or wherever conflict arose. And we didn't believe that this could happen unless there were systems in place that people have access to, which is why we set up building restorative systems, which Kerry will now explain the contents of. Kerry. Thanks, Joe. So I am Kerry Backmaster, and specifically during this course, we will cover how to develop a mindset that embraces conflict, and also the importance of system building and how to do it. We will move on to setting up, supporting, and facilitating dialogue processes, mediations, and restorative circles will include some input and some reflection time on how to stay grounded and calm in the presence of intense pain and hurt, of intense anger and disappointment. And we'll also um, include information about how to guide people towards making agreements that will help restore broken relationships. And now I'll pass to Sarah, who will talk about the benefits of you doing this course. Thanks, Kelly. I'm Sarah Ludford. So some of the benefits of doing this course would include um, a much deeper understanding of how you respond to conflict, what happens to you in conflict. Since we came together in 2016, we both individually and collectively have learned so much about conflict and what it has to teach us. We've come to understand that conflict is telling us something and if we can listen to the messages that conflict is giving us, if we can learn what's being said, that we can uh, develop ourselves and our communities to be more effective so that we have more resilient relationships, more resilient communities, and more personal resilience in how we uh, respond to conflict and how we respond to each other. In fact, I would say that we've all grown in our levels of compassion and holding of people. And we've also learnt about how to listen to feedback, both about the system and about ourselves. So please do come and join us.